No, you're not allowed to take my alien child. Go away. Zim, run! Run for your life, Zim! Go! Lampima Ruskin. Hey, pandas. Welcome back to my Not So Berry with a Twist challenge. As always, all of the original Not So Berry rules and the twist rules will be in the description box below. The twist being that we're adding some more expat gameplay into the different generations. The current playlist will also be in the description box below, so make sure you like and subscribe and check that out. On our last episode, we, um, we finished our Chief of Mischief aspiration. Yay, we went and we clogged drains at our friends' houses. Sorry, friends. Also, Darren and Sophia got a little busy, and I think Sophia may be pregnant. And then when we went to go and talk to friends about Strangerville, him and Cassandra bounced out together. Like, that was a little, a little sus, I think. A little, a little weird. We also checked out the Strangerville secret lab. Um, so we have some more things to do with that. We started that aspiration. We bought a strange fruit that we're going to bring home to Brandon and hope he eats it. I think that'll be fine. That'll be fine. Yeah. So we literally just got back from the lab. We're going to go to bed. Or we're going to take care of Zim and then we're going to go to bed. Zim is aging up today. So before we go to work, we're probably going to age him up. I don't think I'm going to like throw a party or anything. I don't think Brandon would appreciate that. Just because Zim's a little bit more, you know, alien. Yeah. Oh, he's not hungry. I can't remember if Brandon just fed him or not. I can't remember. I guess since you're fine, I'm just gonna go to bed too then. Oh, I also added my health mod back into my game, so... Yeah, now things are gonna get harder. Everybody's like, you need to go to the doctor. <laughs> Crap. These two are so cute. Minus the fact that it's four o'clock in the morning and for whatever reason, Phoenix is also awake. We'll just ignore that. But they're doing yoga together this morning. How adorable. We need to go age up Zim and get ready for work. Where are you going, Brandon? He's like, it's raining. Let's have Brandon age up Zim since she aged up all the other babies. Oh, it's time, little baby Zim. It's time to see how cute you are. Get up here, Brandon. <gasps> Don't smell the baby. Age him up. Happy birthday, Zim. Zim is angelic. I am, I'm okay with that. <laughs> oh, Zim. You're so cute. You have a weird nose mask on and we're gonna have to fix that. <laughs> Let's take Zim into Cass. I don't know why Zim's picture down here looks different. That must be his alien form. Oh, my little bean, what is on your nose? Let's fix that. I don't know what this outfit is or why he's in it, but let's change it because I'm not, I'm not okay with the little, <laughs> uh, not, not okay. Okay, so I have his clothes for alien set because I have to do the alien clothes too. I don't like the little alien diaper thing. So this is how he looks as a little alien. Oh, let's put some eyelashes on him. Okay, so that's him as an alien and then him as a human. I haven't like done any of his clothes. I don't know if I'm going to. Oh, yes, I'm going to. <laughs> okay, so we changed him suit. So he's more purple. I love it. He's super cute. Zim. That took entirely way too long and Zim's hair didn't even stay. That's cool. Oh, lava. That's a droid. <laughs> Ha, you think you're so funny with your hair that won't stay. Ha 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 ha. It's not funny. This hair is so cute, but it just doesn't want to stay in the color that I want it to stay in. So rude. So now we're going to pick a Mindy hair color. He did kind of have like a long hair before, so let's give him a long hair. And we'll just keep a dark eyebrow. It's fine. Whatever. This hair should hopefully at least stay. Gosh, CC, you're so annoying sometimes but we love you. That took like way too long. I'm on like minute 30 of recording, but we're only on like minute two of this video. But look at little Zim. Look how cute. Zim, you're adorable. Yes, you are. Look at your little face. I love my little alien baby. Brandon's probably not gonna wanna take him out too much because he actually looks alien, unlike the other boys who don't. But oh, he's adorable. I love him. Look how cute you are with your little baby face. Oh my god, it's a brand new move. Gosh, ruining everything. Ah, love it. Dance, little Zim. Yes, look how cute you are. 
I love you. What's wrong, Mindy? You gotta brush your teeth? Dirty hands? Well, that's what happens when you clog all the sinks. Oh, we need to figure out where little Zim is gonna be. Where is he gonna sleep? Oh, and I need to get everybody to the doctor, too. I wonder if I can do that, like, super quick in the morning. Zim's taking Krim's stuff. Krim is gonna hate that. Krim is gonna come in here and just, like, get so mad at him for taking her toys. Oh, she's already sleeping in here. Okay, let's see. Schedule a doctor's appointment for me, you, 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 and you, and you, and you. Ugh! Does Brandon really need to go to the doctor? Yes, he does. He does. He does. Jasper's hair changed again. Why? Look, he's blonde. He's not supposed to be blonde. Let's see. Our appointments have been scheduled. They only last for three days or else he loses his slot. You no longer need the appointment. You're canceled to attend the appointment but use the phone under the healthcare service menu. Okay. So let's go ahead and do that before work. Go to doctor's appointment. They didn't make the doctor's appointment for the other kids. That's swell. Oh, probably because they're... <laughs> sleeping. I don't think she's going to need to use sick time to attend the appointment because they should be back. Um, go to the appointment. No, Brandon doesn't need sick time. They should be back before. Uh, let's see. Phoenix suggests that he gets Im immunizations. immunizations. Brandon needs immunizations and she needs immunizations, but everybody is good. Brandon, what are you doing? Brandon, can you just go inside, Brandon? Brandon, Brandon, go in the house. No, just go in, just, just with the, uh, just stop with the umbrella. It's okay, Brandon, I sw These aliens really mess with his head, you guys. Like, he is so, he's so messed up. These aliens just really mess with him. And there goes Phoenix is like, yep, I'm out. I'm not going to hang around with this guy. This guy's freaking nuts. Look at him with the umbrella. And Brandon just left again. Maybe he went with them to their appointment. And now she's going to do it too? Guys, what is this glitch with the umbrella? Is it from the mod? Can the kids just go to the doctor's appointment by themselves? <gasps> they just go by themselves? Okay. Luke Singleton. Mindy, your reputation is everything in the business world. Now I need to keep my job. It's a challenge, my dude. It's lottery day, so we need to buy a lottery ticket. Wait. Wait, what? <laughs> Excuse me, what? <laughs> no. No, no. Brandon's not allowed to be pregnant. <laughs> this doctor's a quack, you guys. The doctor thinks Brandon's pregnant. The doctor is wrong. Brandon is not pregnant. The No. Just... Mm, no. Just... Just no. Don't. No. Mm-mm. No. Just no. That... No. Mm -mm. I will uh, take the mod out if Brandon's pregnant. Like, there's no way. <laughs> no way that he is pregnant. What was I doing? I got so distracted by the pregnancy announcement that I now I do. And now look at Cosmos. Like, how am I supposed to concentrate with buying lottery tickets when I have all of that cuteness to look at? He's so adorable. I just want to buy a lottery ticket. So I did not have to go to work with Mindy today, but it was either that or stay home with five toddlers. Five toddlers. So I decided to come to work today instead because that sounded much more fun than staying home with five toddlers. But I'm probably just going to speed through this day. We should be getting our promotion. Um, we already have everything that we need for our promotion, so we should get a promotion today, but I'm probably just going to speed through the day because I doubt anything terribly, terribly exciting is going to happen. But I'll bring you guys back if anything exciting does happen. You know, to Darren. I forgot to see if Sophia was pregnant. Uh, look! She does look like she might have a little bit of a belly going on there. Rowan, why are you in your, like, regular workday outfit stuff for work? And what are you doing? Yeah, she definitely looks like she has a bit of a belly. Yay! We got our, I think, believe this is our eighth promotion. We are now a pioneer of new technology. We'll now make an additional $45 an hour for a grand total of 187 simoleons an hour. We received a bonus of all 1,136 simoleons, new clothes, and our next shift is, of course, Thursday, and we earned almost 1,700 simoleons. All right, so we ate and took like a little bit of a nap on the couch. So I would love to take the kids to like a park. 
Take them out to like a park or something tonight. Hopefully someplace where it's not raining. We're gonna go to this uh, Mongolian Blossom Park. I hope there's like kid stuff here. I have no idea. It doesn't look like there's kid stuff here. Hang on, let's see if there's one that's kid stuff. Let's go to this one instead. In Brindleton Bay, at least there'll be like doggies maybe <laughs> to talk to. Hopefully it's not raining. Okay, good, it's not <laughs> raining. Okay, I wanna have all the kids. Can they not play on this one? Really? Is it like too big? Is this for bigger kids? We see monster. Oh, they have to be like kids. Okay, let's see it. Let's go into build mode and put something down for toddlers. There, let's put this one down. This is the one that we had in our house that wasn't working. So let's see if we can get all the kids to play over here. Make believe spaceport with all the kids. And then maybe I can get Mindy. We can play. It's okay, Brandon. It's okay. The aliens aren't going to get you here. It's fine. We'll be okay. So we could just have like a nice, nice time playing. All the kids can play in the background and make a destructed mess. I don't know what Aiden's doing, but you know, if he's having a good time. Oh look, Venus is here. Maybe she'll bring all of her kids. She has a whole bunch of kids. So maybe we'll just get a whole bunch of kids here to play. That'd be really nice. The kids really need some time to play. Brandon needs some time to just chill out. Maybe we should have put Zim in his... Do you think we should put Zim in his... Make Zim get in his... I don't think I can. I can't make Zim like change in in. Uh, can I? Can I not do that till he's a child? Like where he can change, but like at whim. Look how cute they all look at little Zim. He's so adorable, and all the little babies look at them playing. Aw, look at how cute. I'm not sure why all the adults are playing on the jungle gym. That's a little strange. Oh, look at all these babies. I wish I could get the other one over here to play with them too. Brandon's got to clean up the mess that all the kids made, of course. Aiden looks really mad. Oh, they're so cute playing in the thing. <gasps> wait, wait, what is, what is going on? Who are all these people? Who would all these people want? Why are they all like here? <gasps> they're all like staring at Zim. Oh my God, they're they're getting in the ball pit. Are they trying to get Zim? Who are these people? <laughs> get away from my baby. <laughs> this is really disturbing. No, you're not allowed to take my alien child. Go away. Zim, run. Run for your life, Zim. Go. Brandon doesn't even care. He's just like, yeah, all these weird people just showed up and that's fine. I feel like we need to like pick up Zim and run away. Can I pick him up? Um, pick him up. Go pick up Zim. Get him away from all these soldiers. These guys are <laughs> so creepy that they're just playing. <laughs> Let's run. Let's get Zim out of here. Oh my gosh, there's even a scientist here. Guys, I think that they're after my baby. What do we do? Brandon, you're supposed to be helping. I feel like we need to leave because all these guys scared away all the normal people and now there's just soldiers here and like agents. Oh no, uh, I think that they're here for Zim. Look at these guys. Back. Brandon, we need to get Zim out of here. Oh no. Oh, we're doing it again. Okay, this is happening. Yep. Oh god, Mindy, stop it. No. Why is this happening again? There's soldiers everywhere. Our baby's being abducted. And we're just sitting here spinning our head around. Everything's fine. Everything's fine. I mean, I suppose when you have five toddlers, this is a pretty much going to happen to you. I think Brandon's trying to figure out what they're saying. Oh, you guys. I don't know. I think all these people are here for... Maybe they're here for Brandon. I think that we need to get out of here though. I don't think that the, that, I think we just need to go home. I think that we have overstayed our welcome and we need to get out of here before these guys decide to snatch up my little Zim and run off themselves. Brandon, let's go. I'm taking the important one and I'm leaving. I'm taking the legacy with me and I'm going. Oh my God, Mindy. It's okay, Brandon, it's okay. Let's just go home quickly. Brandon, go home. Save yourself. Save yourself from the crazies. Oh my god, look at them all just playing. 
Well, that was unexpected, but at least we got home and we got Zim safe. That's good. That was crazy. They all just came and started playing on the playground. Do you think that they were trying to make friends with Zim so that way they could take him back to the secret lab and test on him? I think that's what they were trying to do. Either that or else they were after Brandon's womb. Brandon is the creator of all aliens. Come on, let's go inside. Maybe we should make the kids some food or something. Come on, kids, back inside the house. All of you, all of you in the house. No, no, okay, come on, Rusty, Rusty, inside. Rusty, stop dancing. Come on inside, guys. Yeah, hey, Jasper, what are you doing, buddy? Aw, you love Jasper. He's your buddy. And take him somewhere. I don't even know where you're taking him. Oh my gosh, look, Mama's back. Look at her dancing with her babies. Look at her. Get down, Mama. She always visits at night, I feel. Dance with your babies, Mama. <laughs> Phoenix is like, yeah, you just abandoned us. Oh, look, she has a lot more in common with Zim. She's trying to explain to him where he came from, that he's an alien. And he doesn't understand any of it. All going right over his head. He's like, whatever you say, you crazy green lady. Look at him with his little bouncy butt. Oh, he's so cute. Let's get down here and dance too. I want her to dance. Mindy to dance with with her friend Trinity and with her baby Zim. Oh yeah, Trinity, you go, girl. Aliens Among Us. I've discovered 10 aliens. Dancing is in my bones. Brandon likes dancing. I don't even know Brandon's dancing. I don't even know where Brandon is. Yeah, look at the, look at anyone Cosmos has to be in here with us too. I wonder if I can get all the kids in here to dance. That would be really cute. Oh, look how cute every, oh my God, look at them dancing. Oh my God, go Phoenix. Did you see him do his little twirl? Go, my baby! Where's all my other babies? Let's get in here and have a little dance party before bed! Yes, look at my little babies! All of them! Where's Jasper? Jasper, what's the matter, buddy? Dancing soon, the tears might- if the dan- Oh, Buddy! Yeah, look at them having their little dance party before bed. And then we're gonna put everybody to bed. We lost the other mama, which I don't know where she went. Yeah, Mindy, go girl! Show those babies how to dance. Okay, maybe we should put them to bed. <laughs> I just realized I don't have a bed for, um, okay, hang on. Let's, let's rearrange, let's add another bed into this room, I think, for now. I have this whole other room here that I was thinking about making his room, um, but I'll probably off camera just cause it's gonna take me for absolute ever. I don't build, I'm not a builder. And so like doing all this stuff always takes me a long time. Cause I just don't, I just don't. Oh my God, that's not where I wanted to put it. You see what I say when I said I just don't? That's not even the bed that I wanted. I wonder if I just tell everybody it's bedtime if they'll all just go to bed. I just said it was bedtime. I think that they're all just can just go. Can they just, Brandon, stop showing off to the kids? Like, they need to go to bed now. So all the kids should be, like, heading to bed. Zim's going to bed. These guys are in bed. I know I changed your outfit. These guys are going to bed. Zim, you should be going all the way to bed. Why are you just sitting on top of the bed, buddy? Go to sleep. Do not take a nap. I told you to go all the way to sleep, my dude. Trying to coordinate a whole house to be in bed at the same time is a little bit difficult, but we're doing it. We got four of the five in bed, one's heading to bed. Mama should be leaving. Mama, you gonna be tucking your babies into bed? Is that what you're doing? You're just making sure the whole house is clean? I'm so happy that you come to clean up after your babies every day. It is very, very nice of you, actually. Maybe say goodbye to Mindy and head out, Trinity, because we, we have to be like going to bed now. Don't rewash my laundry for me. No, I was just gonna put that in the dryer. Trinity, you think you're helping. You're not. Gosh dang it, Trinity. And now I have to wait for that to finish before I can move it. I just emptied the dryer so I could do with Trinity. She thinks she's helping. She does. Googly eye, she thinks she's helping. She's not really helping though. Can you tell her maybe that she's not helping? Why is there a fire? Brandon, what did you do? How is there a fire? Why does it say fire and then you're freaking out? Where is the fire? Brandon, what did you do? Okay, we're freaking out and there's a fire and we're running upstairs? No, we're just freaking out that there's a fire. Where's the fire? 
<laughs> and we're we're crying that there's a fire. <laughs> newbie, newbie. I really don't understand what's happening. There is no fire. What fire? <laughs> like, uh, like, what's going on? Oh, there is a fire. Look here, it's right here. Okay, here's the fire. This thing is on fire. Extinguisher through his freezeway. Mindy, okay, come on. We can do this, Mindy. We got this. We've practiced our whole life for this. Oh, okay, Brandon's got this. We've all got this. Everybody's got this. There we go. We fixed it. I hate this box. We're so destroying this box. I'm sorry. We're just getting rid of it. And now the ground is dirty. Uh, can we clean this? Ew. I love how Trinity was laughing the whole time that that was happening. Do you think that she caused that? We're, and now she's gone. Trinity, you're looking a little sus. Now all the kids are scared because of the fire. Oh no. And they're all wearing really ridiculous outfits again. Oh, she's still here. She, oh, she probably wanted that fire. Maybe she wanted that fire to like kill us. <laughs> She's probably really mad because that fire didn't didn't do away with us. Could you maybe tell her to leave? I'm really angry. I don't think she cares about your hand, calluses. Look at her. Look at her steaming because she's so mad. I think that she had something to do with that fire and that's why she's steaming like that. I think she did something. Maybe Trinity isn't really our friend, you guys. She's really, really tired. You should probably just send her on her way and you should go to bed, Brandon. Let's try this whole going to bed thing again. Maybe minus the fire this time. Lottery was successful. We had a wonderful time. We did everything, but we didn't win. So that's cool. Why is she still here? She's like exhausted and she's just, just still here. Oh, I think she's finally leaving. Nope, not leaving. Just hanging out with Cosmos. She's a weird one. She looks drunk. Oh my God, I think she's completely drunk. Everyone's so hungry. We need to get Brandon up so he can feed everybody. Everybody's hungry. Here's your guys' food. Everybody can eat. Everybody get some cereal this morning so that way everybody can not be grumpy. And then we'll have Brandon work on baths and then Mindy's gonna go off to work and it's just gonna be another day of work, I think. Um, what do we need for our... We need to have two more breakthroughs. I don't think we're gonna get those before work, but we might get them during work. Oh. Gotta give all the babies baths before we go to work. Oh, I need to do laundry too, since Trinity messed that up for me last night. Thanks, Trinity. And of course we didn't win the lottery, the Tinker did. I gotta put her goggles back on, I forgot about that, but we'll do that in a little while. So let's just do some work around the office, nothing crazy. Hey, Cassandra, wait, why are there? I think that's one of those soldiers. Ooh, I don't know if I like that. Oh my gosh, look, there's more of them. Oh no, do you guys think that they're here to talk to me about Zim? Maybe they're here to get Zim. There's a whole bunch of them, oh no. Uh, I'm just gonna kind of ignore them and hope that they don't see me. Maybe I should go down to the basement. Oh man, this is like kind of weird. They're just everywhere. Oh my gosh, there's one of the scientists, look. Oh man, I bet that she wants to know all about my husband. Oh, she's coming to sit right next to me. She's gonna try and strike up conversation. I don't like this, this is really awkward. I think I need to go home. Uh, I'm scared, I don't like any of the stuff that's going on. Look, he's trying to check in with her. He's like, what should I be doing, ma'am? Should I be looking for aliens? You have a really big butt. Like, look at your butt, it's huge. Maybe we can find Rowan and be like, Rowan, what is going on? Why is this guy in his underwear? Where's Rowan? Oh, what are these guys doing? <laughs> They're just having a dance off right here. Just, just, just normal everyday work stuff. And there's another soldier on this computer right here. Where's Rowan? Rowan, what's happening? I don't see Rowan. There's just crazy people everywhere. Oh man, I really do think that they're looking for Zim, you guys. I think that they're looking for me and Zim. I don't see any of my other friends. I think that they like all left. Oh my god, I feel like I should leave too. Uh, can I leave work early? Is that a thing? 
Can we go home from work? Can we leave? How do we leave? Like, what if we just want to go home early? Is that a thing? I don't think we can. I wanted to, like, see if we could leave because, ah, uh, I'm scared of all the people that's here. I don't think I can leave, so I guess I'm just going to ignore- try to, like, ignore them and go about my day? I'll bring you guys back if anything interesting happens. Back to being days, back to having the voice change. Nobody's really bothered me. I've seen Sophia around. Was that Sophia? Yeah, Sophia, look at her baby bump, you guys. She's got a baby bump. And here's Obi, and here's one of the other workers. Most of the um, soldier people like went up and down the, the aisle. They like went up and down, and then they just left. So I'm not really sure what they did. Maybe they like sweep the whole area and took our research and then took it away with them. Who knows? Then our people finally came back. I haven't seen Rowan yet. Otherwise, I'm gonna tell him everything that just happened. Oh my god. Maybe I should tell Sophia everything that just happened. Hi, Sophia. How are you doing? You look a little sad today. Did you see all those people that came? There were so many people. I think that they were here looking for Zim. I don't know what to do about it. I don't know what to do when they come back. They've met me at the park and now they were here at work. What am I supposed to do when they come back? I'm scared of them. Now she's worried too. Oh, you don't have to be worried about your baby though. I mean, your baby's Darren's baby, right? Uh, I haven't seen Darren. Is he and you? Are you guys like in a relationship now? Or I don't think that they're actually in a relationship. I think that they're just, I think it was an accident. But we're gonna love her babies regardless. I can't wait for your baby to come and meet my babies. And then we can have another party at the park. But maybe, maybe minus the, minus the soldiers. And Sophia doesn't really know too much about what happened either. And I don't really know too much about what was going on. It was a little weird. But I think we're just gonna go home and call that a day and just say, you know, maybe we won't have to worry about it. Maybe we'll never see them again. It'll be fine, I'm sh sure. Just a regular day. We got a ton of money, which is good because our bills are due soon. I don't really know what is going on with all of the soldiers and everything. I really do think that they're after my little Zimmy Zim. I'm a little bit worried. We had a couple of interesting encounters today. Um, but hopefully we won't have that happen again. I have no idea. Oh, Zim, I know I'm worried too. I don't want them to take you away. So in our next episode, we have the weekend coming up. We'll have to figure out some fun things to do. Oh my gosh. Do you think all those people are from the secret lab? Maybe they saw us outside the door trying to get in and that's why they're here. OMG. I bet that's what it is. I bet that they were the people that are behind that door in the secret lab. Who knows, guys? I guess we're just gonna have to wait and figure out some more on our next episode. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Don't forget to hug a panda and subscribe today, and happy swimming in!